Hi! Welcome back to my channel. We're just going to pretend like I've not missed the last few weeks. Because I was super busy doing a very intensive acting course which left me with zero free time. This is going to be a super quick, super easy, super simple, super straightforward, hopefully, self-taping setups for all budgets. This is my current setup which I use for all of my self-tapes, but we're going to get to it in a bit because I want to start with the most basic setup which you don't need to spend any money on. If you have a smartphone, you're ready to self-tape. I'm gonna keep it super real and show you the mess that is our living room. We're acting out a scenario here, all right? You just got a self-tape through. Amazing, you're really excited, but you don't have a setup, you have nothing, you just have your phone, right? Don't panic, you can make it work. For me, this room is the only one that's gonna work at the minute because um, it's got this nice window that has a lot of natural light coming through. The other rooms are facing north, so there's no light basically. This is a great plain background but you know what? I don't have a tripod. I have nothing to prop it on. There's nothing in front of me. Let's find another place that's gonna work. Okay so this is not ideal but it's probably my best bet because there's a blank-ish wall behind me. There's this but it's you know it's still kind of white right I can make it work and there's a table in front of me so I can try and prop this phone up Please don't judge me because it's been too busy and this table is just a fucking state. But it works for us because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this random box, we're gonna use this camera to prop it up and we'll see if that works. Okay, not quite, but we're getting there. So, um, I mean, I've there's a random dish that I can use as well. Let's see if I can put things on top of that. We're getting there, we're getting there. I think one more thing and we're good. There's a shoebox here that is full of random paperwork and scripts. So uh, I think that's gonna do it. Also I have books over there, but they're too far away. So we're just gonna use this. Okay, great. Not perfect, but it will do, right? Um, I'm gonna try and get the lights a bit better. If you had a self tape, and you, this is all you could do, it would be fine. You can see my eyes, you're not distracted by the background, it's just blank. You know, you'd ideally want to be facing the window so that it's lighting up your face evenly and properly. But I, this is what I have to work with. And this is what I had to do when I got my first few self tapes. I'm gonna try and find a self tape so that you can see that they work. All these setups have either got me the job or a recall or I got another job later down the line. Anyway, if you have a phone that records video, this is fine. This is setup number one. The step up from this would be film with the rear camera. So I'm using the main camera now, which is better quality, should be better image, better sound, I think even. If you wanna make sure that you're in frame, you can use a mirror, just, you know, have a look. If you have a person there with you, like a reader, they will be able to make sure you're in frame. Okay, so the first thing I wanna change is the lighting, right? That situation wasn't working for me. Facing the window straight on makes it more palatable, right? I can't really be using this as a background because it's too distracting. There's bins, kitchen, sofa, whatever. So I would say the first thing I wanna spend money on is a backdrop so that I can sit myself here with a nice light from the window and not have anything behind me. Massive improvement, right? This is just a collapsible Amazon backdrop. It's gray on one side and blue on the other. Those are the two colors that most casting directors prefer. I sort of switch between gray and blue depending on what the mood of the scene is and stuff like that. I can't remember exactly how much this backdrop cost me, uh, but I will look it up and put it somewhere on the screen. But I think it was like 30 to 40 quid, um, which is a lot, but again, it's worth it. <laughs> in my opinion. I'm happy with this. Don't feel the need to spend any more money until you've you know, booked some jobs and made some money and you can afford to upgrade. But for now, I think this is great. The lighting is nice and, you know, soft and even on my face. I don't look weird. <laughs> Not as weird as I did in the corner anyway. Let's just flip the camera again, just to see the difference. And again, just put your reader there, there, and just be like, Oh my God, are you serious right now? Do the best American accent you've got. Okay, so obviously this is now great and it would work for most people in most scenarios. Even if you had to stand up, at this point you could probably stack 
a bunch more books or boxes on top of this table and do it standing up because this backdrop is quite tall. But obviously you're gonna start running into problems when you have a last minute tape and it comes through in the evening or you're working until 9 p.m. and then you can only do it at 10 o'clock in the evening and there's no natural light. So the next thing I would buy is lighting. I'm gonna link everything that I show or I've used in the description box. This light, I've used it for so many self-tapes. It's got a little mound to go on top of the camera, but because it's nice and flat, you can literally stand it onto a surface next to your phone and it will do the job. There are also things like this, which you can carry in your bag for an emergency. They don't do that much, they're not the best, but if you're really stuck in like a tunnel <laughs> somewhere, with zero light and you need to do a last minute self tape, you know, that's something you can use. Once you've introduced lighting to the equation, you can pretty much move to any room, any corner, and you can make it work. So the next thing I would buy is a tripod, so you can stand it up anywhere without having to stack two meters worth of books. I mean, I'm not two meters tall, but you know. Once you have a tripod, you can put it in your random corner in your north facing room and uh you know do an active self-tape that requires you to move around dance do all the weird stuff that us actors get to do when we get a fun self-tape today's a gorgeous sunny day so even this north facing window is somehow getting a bunch of light reflected off the building i'm gonna try and make this room look a bit darker hang on yeah, this is a bit more like it would normally be in here. Um, and this is where our little light comes in. I'm just gonna put it on. Ooh, not as loud, not loud. And just prop it on the tripod. Not ideal, but you know what? A last minute 10 p.m. self tape, brilliant. You can lose a backdrop if there's just a blank wall and save yourself 40 quid or whatever. 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 2 a.m., you've got yourself a setup and you've only spent 60, 70 quid, we'll figure it out. Pretty good, and then you can crop it if you need to, but I mean, this is, this is fine. The background is plain enough. Okay, so you've got your phone, you've got your tripod, you've got your lighting, you've got your backdrop, you've booked some jobs, you made some money, you feel like you wanna step it up again. The next thing I would get is a microphone. This is a Rode video mic. Pro, I think I got this ages ago. Again, I'll link everything in the description box below. You can plug this in directly into your phone. If you get this dongle, it plugs into this here. And then that thing goes into your headphone jack. Or if you have one of the later iPhones and you don't have that, you can use one of these and you plug this in here. And then that goes directly into your phone. So this is what it sounds like with a microphone. I've just kind of rested it on something. There's like things you can buy as well, I can try and find and link one. It's like a big mount for your phone and there's like little shoe mounts which you can put both the light and the microphone in. I've always found ways to make it work without. I'd say this is pretty good, right? When you have natural light, you have natural light. When you don't, you have this. You can work with this for a while, book a bunch more jobs before you can move on to the next step which is the bigger soft boxes and a camera if you want to. Just realised that I forgot to film this setup with the soft box, so um, this is editing by the jumping in to show you. So then we get to my current setup, which is my DSLR, which is a Canon 200D, which I'm pretty sure is discontinued. And as I said, the camera is probably the last thing I would buy because you don't need one. The phones, most phones these days are good enough. And I have my one softbox light. I do own two and I did used to use two when I had a larger room, but one I think is plenty, at least for me. It works for this setup, it works right now. I've got a bunch of other lights that I've got since and accumulated through like random jobs and stuff, but I'd say this is enough for most people. In my personal opinion. This tripod is very cheap. It's falling apart, like I can't really move one part of it up and down anymore, but it does the job. I feel like I should have written a script so that I could keep track of what I'm doing. There are also a few random things that you can buy if all of this stuff is a bit 
too overwhelming at the minute. This is one of the first things I used. You sort of attach it to a table or a windowsill or whatever, and then you put your phone in here, and uh, there's a little ring light that comes on. When you plug it in, I'm not gonna, cause you know, whatever. But I filmed self tapes with that as well. It's a nice little tool if you wanna just get something cheap. I'll show you where I used it. This is the bottom of the bed and I used it to attach it to this part here and I rolled this uh, disgusting blind down so that it was just a plain grey background behind me. You can buy one of these small tripods but yeah I think you can you can use books or boxes. If you're wondering about traveling I literally just bring this tripod slash selfie stick I think it is with me. It doesn't take up that much space. You open it up and then it gets pretty tall, like it's, I'm five foot five with good posture. Um, so it's like eye level for me, so it's perfect. If you're super tall, stack it on some boxes or a chair or a table. Find a nice window, put yourself in front of it and tape your tape, book the job. Thank me in your Oscar speech, you know. I don't know what I'm saying. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's made you feel like you don't need to spend money to be able to do a self-tape and apply for a job, you know, because you really don't. From all of the research, from watching all the Q&As with casting directors, they don't care about the big Hollywood setup with the massive cameras and best lenses and stuff. This camera is the, the cheapest camera I could buy at the time and it's still got the kit lens on it, I didn't buy any new lenses. As long as they can hear you and they can see you, they can see your eyes, it's fine, okay? So don't don't feel like you need to go and spend a bunch of money. This is all you need, okay? This and a plainish background and some light. My skin's been going mad. I don't know what's happening. Probably all the sugar that I've eaten in the last couple of weeks. I am hopefully back to posting a bit more frequently. So hopefully I will see you next week with a new video about something else. We'll figure out what that is over the weekend. Have a good week and smash some self tapes.